What's up everybody, this is Nightlighter50. Right now, we just stopped for a few minutes. We're gonna do a pot roast. Told y'all before I'd be doing some cooking videos. Got my crock pot, or slow cooker, some people call it. Best thing I think they ever made were these liners, cause you don't have to go into the every truck stop, wash it out every time you use it. We're gonna put a liner in here. You just pull your liner out, tie it up, throw it away, and then wipe out your crock pot with any kind of wipes you like. All right. And then we have, got a pretty good size. It's a chuck roast. Yeah, I should have had my glove, I got some Glove, so I don't have to touch the meat, but they're under in the cabinet, so we're just gonna kind of wing it. Take our roast, drop it in the bottom. That thing filled it up. Take a Lipton onion soup mix, sprinkle lid on there. That is one thing I did forget to get was an onion. Then I've got, I've just got done washing these. I like to buy the small, the little small potatoes. Buy a bag of those. We're going to sprinkle those in there. My bag of carrots. Here they are. I like the little petite carrots. They seem to cook a little quicker and easier. We're going to sprinkle a bag of these in here. Real simple to do, but it's really good. I, myself, I'll eat on this as a pot roast for a day or two. And then what I wind up doing is the second day, I will do uh, like an open face sandwich. And then the third day, I will take and convert this into a beef stew. I got two cans of cream of mushroom soup. Just take and blop it on top there. The only bad thing about cooking in a crock pot is when you stop to get out somewhere and then you get back in your truck. It just makes you that much more hungry. Every time you get out, your truck starts built smelling like what you're cooking. All right. We're gonna do two cans of that. And this stuff, you don't have to, you know, add water. You can add water if you want to uh, uh, kind of rinse your can out. Uh, my wife does that. As far as being on the road and I gotta go. Uh, I just stopped for a few minutes to take my little dog out, which I will shortly introduce y'all to her. She is she is a character. Her name's Sweet Pea, and she was found in the projects of Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, I just lost one of my labs that rode with me, and I really, I was at that point to where I just don't know if I want to go through it again. And she popped up and, you know, what are you going to say? I said, yeah, and this has probably been the best thing I have. Now, I got a slow cooker uh, package here. Got a cup of water. We're just going to mix it up, pour it on top. If you can't find a, a package, you know, for the pot roast, uh, you can get like an au jus package, mix it up, and then, you know, season it, season with the, you know, salt, pepper, stuff like that that you want in here. Garlic. I'm big time. I love to cook with garlic. Mix that up. Pour it on top. And 
by the time this is all done, it is mouth water. So there we go. Uh, my crock pot. And even if yours don't come with it, one of the best things I've found to use is one of these. It's a little, you can buy them on Amazon. Uh, you, you hook it on the, on the handles, stretch it over the top, and that's going to keep your, keep your lid secure. And what I do is I set mine in front of my refrigerator, plug it in to my outlet down here put it on low and you'll cook it eight they say eight to ten hours i like to do mine probably eight eight and a half maybe nine and it's just it's good it's good i'll show y'all the finished product once it gets done cooking but for right now i'm fixing to get back on the road you seen how long that took right there and I'll have a meal for a day or two, maybe three days, depending on how hungry I am. So it's easy to cook in your truck. It's healthier to cook in your truck. And it's just all around better for you. Come on, girl. Come here. And right here, look here, baby. This is sweet pea. My little road dog. So y'all be safe out there, and we'll see y'all later on.